Hi folks, welcome back to Solara Technical's continuing review of LTEC, now Delta's product lines. In today's video, I'll be reviewing their EcoTower 380 volt DC product line. In the power industry, we seldom get to influence solutions at a system level. This is a case where we did. One large customer had a problem with their existing data centers. They were maxed out in their overhead cable trays, but needed to expand. If a novel solution could not be had, new buildings would be needed. As it turned out, a very cool idea was born. When I explain it, you'll think it's simple and ask, why wasn't this done before? Let me set the stage. As you know, extension cords for a given cable size and voltage are limited to the amount of power you can get from them. If you can raise the voltage and hold the output power constant per Ohm's law, the current goes down. So, with a higher voltage for the same cable size, you can either have a longer extension cord or lose less power in the same length of extension cord. Public utility companies have known this for years. Higher voltages require smaller cable sizes for the same power delivered. That's why power plants step up their output voltage from their generators and run their long distance transmission lines at over 100,000 volts. When they get close to a city or a neighborhood, they put in a substation and drop that voltage down to about 13,000 volts for their distribution lines. Once they are next to the customer's house, they mount a 220 volt step down transformer to power the building. In the telecom world, central offices have run on negative 48 volts forever with a 48 volt battery bank for backup. As data centers were developed, they followed the telecom standard and used the same negative 48 volts to power the various cabinets. But the National Electric Code requires the same treatment of negative 48 volt cables as it does for a 1000 volt cable. So why not increase the voltage within a facility to a natural higher level if one is available? As it turns out, within a modern switch mode rectifier, there are two converter stages. The first stage is the power factor corrector, which uses a boost converter topology to generate an output of 380 volts DC. The second stage is a DC to DC converter used to step down the 380 volt link voltage to the 48 volts we all know. But what if the rectifiers could be split into two unique products and connected with a cable? What if an entire cabinet of power factor correctors could be made? And an entire cabinet of DC to DC converters as well? Well, that's just what the EcoTower 380 volt product line is. From a human standpoint, 380 volts DC is far more dangerous than 48 volts. A person can touch 48 volts with little effect. Try that with 380 volts and you could die. Safety for the human is ensured by implementing a split voltage, high impedance grounding system. Handling the 380 volt cables in the cable trays is the same per the National Electric Code. As previously stated, increasing the voltage from 48 volts to 380 volts, or about 8x, will reduce the copper needed for the same power delivered to 1 8th the size, or allow 8 times the power to be delivered through the same size cable at the higher voltage. The customer solved their expansion problem by increasing the voltage in their already packed cable trays and was able to power many more cabinets. They did not require new buildings, at least not yet. But what about the battery backup? With a distributed 48 volt system, it doesn't make sense 
to distribute batteries to each load. That would be a maintenance nightmare. It turns out we have a lot of experience with 380 volt battery banks. They're used extensively in AC to AC uninterruptible power supplies known as UPSs. So placing a 380 volt battery bank on a 380 volt distribution network made the most sense. Please remember, if you need help with this product line or anything related to power, give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.